Hey everyone, uh, welcome to another episode of Chaos Craft. And this is the second one I'm doing today, but uh, I figured out I, I wrote a, a function I call Sanity Check. Like in an earlier video video today, you could see that there were some nodes like in the neurons where there was like two connectors or like, a, you know, see this node right there that just basically has the one inventory, but it also have like a connecting node in between it. That's for above it, not necessarily that one. And uh, that was an issue, or you'd have like an input that didn't go to an output or an output that didn't eventually hit at least one input. So I wrote a sanity check that went through and got rid of all those, anything that wasn't necessary, which shrinks down the brain size, increases processing power. But while I did that, I realized I had to write, I'd written tests for this thing before that would iterate, uh, run through a loop and iterate up to 50, um, and it would test it. Um, but I didn't have a way of visualizing up to 50. So I just created a test function where we could visualize up to 50. So this is a bot that's running right now. Henry found a three H J blah, 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 blah. Right. And so he's actually firing out there in the real world. So it actually like his outputs are firing at least. That's what you see light up is when the outputs highlighted. It doesn't really matter which input fired it yet. Like I don't have that set up, but you can see the output firing. So a cool thing that I saw that, I thought it was going to be interesting is I ran the simulation. This is a two generations plus. So he's probably like a generation five here. That's what his brain looks like. So let's look at him at a generation 10 roughly, or actually it'd be a generation 13 in this case. Um, you can see the same output. Some of the outputs survive. So you can see them still firing off at generation five. Um, but you can see the thought comp uh, process gets much more complex. It requires more and more stuff to trigger it. And so as we move out, this is what generation 20 looks like. And we'll give it a minute to see if any of the thoughts fire out. So there you go. So this one's still intact, at least partially this place block there. And here's what a level 50 looks like. Uh, generation 50. This is what the brain of a generation 50. So by the time we get actual generation 50s, I will need to rewrite the visualization tool, I feel. Um, but, but as you can see, it's uh, significantly more intertwined and complex. Scrolling is not working great here, but significantly more intertwined. So again, generation 5-ish, generation 13-ish, generation 20 you see it's not firing off because it doesn't have as many of the original outputs um, because again we're randomly destroying x amount each time i think it's 20 or 10 percent and we're generating another 20 percent so you, each time you have 110 percent of the previous nodes and uh so yeah that's this is what we're building is this massive this is a neural network. When I say neural network, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Um, with that said, I guess we look at the leaderboard real quick and see if the leaderboard's changed. I don't think so yet. I actually haven't pushed out the production push I wanted to do yet. Yeah, this guy's still there. So the production push I have to do probably right now. No, uh, maybe not. But either way, wanted you guys to see the the evolution of neural networks and those are tests. They're not actually, no one's, none of those have filled the fitness functions. Like the general level 50 could be a complete brick. Who knows? Um, but the cool thing is when I mean, we are seeing some patterns here and I just fixed a bunch of stuff. So it's exciting times for me. Um, sorry, there's not more Minecraft going on right now. I don't actually even have it running. I have the bot running and the server running. Uh, but I don't actually have my interpreter. So there's nothing to see. All right. That was a cool one. I'm really excited about that. Probably less exciting if you have no idea what I'm talking about. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, go back and watch the first episode in the playlist, check the show notes, et cetera, et cetera. I'm Matt. Um, you can check out my blog, shipforgetoffthepot.com, or if you'd like to hire me to build something massive on AWS, you can check out schematical.com or with machine learning. All right. Thanks again. Bye.